Hi, Bruno here. Welcome to Spain Guru. Quick video about a question that I think is super relevant for Filipino nationals seeking to get their nationality in Spain after being residents here in the country. I am a Filipino applying for the Spanish citizenship. Do I have to be empadronado for two years? And empadronado means being registered in city hall where you live in Spain. Let's go with the details of the question. I am a Filipino passport holder and I will be applying for the Spanish citizenship next month via the two years residence path that Filipinos nationals have. They can request nationality faster than other nationalities because of their ties with Spain historically. I am receiving conflicting information regarding the empadronamiento. Does it have to say that you have been empadronado for two years on the document? Some sources say it is not important as long as you are applying for nationality through residency. I know it is important for arraigo social and being married to an EU citizen. The answers. We have a couple of interesting answers from our community members. The first one, no, it doesn't, but you are going to need other sources of evidence that you have resided and remain in Spain continuously. For example, without too many absences. If you have a lawyer, you should ask them what type of evidence would be best fit your particular needs. And I'm going to share here a video where we talk about the nationality for Filipinos uh, because they have to be very strict with the amount of time that are out of Spain while they are residing in Spain if they don't want to be refused their nationality application. Second answer. I got my latest one a few months ago and I, it contained all previous padrons I have applied for since being in Spain. All listed in a row. Just ask for it. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of the new content that we upload to the video. And if you need expert advice, just go on spainguru.es. You will find immigration lawyers. You will find also tax experts if you need to file taxes in Spain and also in the USA. You will find also relocation services in Spain, apostille services from the US, sworn translators and health insurances when you apply for no lucrative visa, when you apply for a golden visa, student visa, you will need health insurances as well. And we also offer certificate of good health for the UK residents. And also if you need to go back to the States and you need a health insurance, we also offer those health insurances too. And of course, if you want to be part of a community, please join our Facebook group, uh, Spain Immigration and Residency Questions, Spain Guru. Yes. Uh, with more than 16,000 members where you can ask any single question related to Spanish uh, immigration issues and you can do it also anonymously. You can also join our non-lucrative visa group with more than 800 members, our Spanish digital nomad visa group. Very important, last but not least, please subscribe to our newsletter. You can opt out anytime. We send this newsletter every single Monday morning and we feature top discussions on our community and uh, any news related to Spanish immigration. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you a great day. This is Bruno from SpainGuru.es. Goodbye.